Okay, so despite my risky idea of just leaving the game on pause with the Yoshi quickly melting, um, we got through here with no problems, and Yoshi decided to enter the warp level without us. I'm not sure what happens there. Hello, Yoshi. Alright, now I get to take Yoshi in with me. Uh, I wish that worked. Anyway, this is a freaking intimidating level. If you don't know what to do, basically those skulls are serious, and this water will kill you if you touch it. I think there's something like it in uh, one of the Bianco Hill levels, but that just hurts you if you touch it like the dirty Noki Bay water, I believe. I'll figure that out soon enough. But anyway, yeah, you just navigate down the stream, grabbing red coins as you go. It's harder than I make it look. I'm just arbitrarily really good at it for some reason. I have no idea how that happened, but I got really good at it with, like, three tries of practice. And you can actually jump on here for these last two if you are bad at it, but that seems like the cheater's way out, and I'm gonna do it the legitimate way. And I have plenty of lives stockpiled for exactly this. It isn't really as hard as I had pegged it for, but certainly something you won't want to do multiple times, even with my exploit, that Yoshi thing is still a bit monotonous and not the most fun to do over and over. Okay, this is what Death Water does. It kills you. Not very many one hit KOs in this game, but that's one of them. I guess this is where all the island sewage goes. Not very well explained, but it is a secret stage, and I'm just thankful for no acapella Mario music inexplicably spawning. And yeah, see, it's basically luck of where it ends up bouncing, because it's kind of hard to maneuver, especially if... And it's also kind of hard to predict where it's maneuvering, especially if it's going quickly, which it tends to because there's a pretty strong current. Crap like that happens all the time. It's wondrous. I should be able to get it before too much time passes and before uh, I run out of lives, though, so don't worry. I'm not that bad at it. I mean, I was freaking excellent. I just screwed up at the last... I mean, I was... I could have easily saved that. I just didn't for some reason. Wow, that was pathetic. So yeah, if you're really crazy, you can do stuff like this. And I don't know if that leaf respawns. I suppose it would be the safer matter, but... It's also quite simple just to go across here. Flying across to get whatever goodies you happen to come across on your way. Not the easiest way to do it, but it actually is kind of simpler than controlling the... Simpler, not easier, but simpler than controlling the leaf, so if that's really giving you a lot of trouble and you're good at precision jumping and stuff like that, might want to try this out. This actually isn't like one of my regular botched attempt speeches where I pretend I'm teaching how to do it when I'm really just screwing up. This is a legitimate way of clearing the level. It's kind of hard, but so is the regular way, so can't ask for too much. It's better to be safe and have another chance than to go too low, though. I mean, I'm clearly not doing that to demonstrate it, I'm just doing it because it's hard, but... Yeah, and then there's stuff like that, it's really not that much more efficient. I'm learning as I go, basically. I think I went in here once as a kid and it friggin' terrified me, and it still kind of friggin' terrifies me, but... It friggin' terrifies me in a way that I'm kind of terrified Nintendo hasn't had the wieners to make anything this hard in quite some time. I mean, it's fun to have a really hard stage that's hard to get to, hard to do. I'm not being sarcastic, I really like this stage, even though it's annoying me. Whatever. I'll come back and get it. Come back in the next life, that is. 
Hmm, five minutes have passed, but I don't know. I had some wacky Yoshi glitches at the start. I'll keep it. I would have liked to keep some of those extra lives for, like, Corona Mountain, but I can go farm again if it gets too bad. Okay, yeah, you don't want to make this go the wrong direction or anything here, because that's pretty much the hardest to get if you miss. Next to this one, which is also pretty hard, and of course, yeah, during this last section it's going ridiculously fast, so you have to hope you can aim it correctly, and yeah, here the current should carry it along nicely. Might have to help it along a little bit. Be prepared for this, as it's rather hard. It actually is possible, and I do think in my one successful practice run, I managed to get it this way. Ah, I almost grabbed it. Oh well, one more. I mean, I could spend this entire part on here, and it wouldn't be that bad. This is pretty much the single hardest shine sprite in the game. Unless you want to count, like, the ten blue coins that are the hardest to get combined into one. But no, this is basically the hardest bonus stage. It's funny, because I, like, beat it in my second attempt when I had not played it in ages, and now that I've practiced, I'm horrible at it. There we go. What? I landed on that! That's not fair. You stupid lying game. Jeebus tell you it's not nice to lie. Whatever. I am sure I can beat this and get some kind of other progress done in this part. Just know it, I truly believe. Zoom the camera out a bit. Oh, seriously. Okay, that, that's not too bad. Just got unlucky there. And there. Ah, <sighs> well, I suppose it's good that I'm making a wacky failure run here where <laughs> you can see it because I was doing way too well in my practice run. It was almost depressing because I was I mean I've gotten to some point where I'm so good at video games the world's hardest bonus stage couldn't beat me and quite sobering. Seriously. Be horror indeed, Mario. Be horror is exactly what I think when I see that. Oh well. Floating on by. Oh, let me have that. Nope. Okay, that's fine. I didn't want it. Okay, so now I'm going to do a careful run instead of a haphazard, let's just do this quickly because I have infinite lives run, because my infinite lives are running out quickly. And it would be humiliating if I lost all my lives here. Of course, it ended up being like my most watched video because it would be so wacky and hilarious that I died, and even though I'm good at it. Is it possible to make this go? Well, you don't like ramming into walls at low speed, do you? Ha ha ha. Wonderful. This simple shine spray I thought might take one, like, one minute, two minutes, three minutes. For most, it's taking almost. 10 minutes, I guess 9 and a few seconds isn't really almost 10, but what can I say, I'm tired and this is hard. Really. I do not approve of that, each live is important now, so... Hup. Ah, uh, not quite. <sighs> Poor Mario looking down into the abyss. Okay, so, plenty of water going on here. No need to conserve it. Might regret saying that later, but what the heck, it's 
there's really no good chance of me surviving this, is there? I don't know, I might just surprise everyone, including myself. Of course, yeah. yeah what, 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 what does it mean when I press A? It means walk with no distractions, and that's that's the control. If you look up in the guide, A, continue walking with no obstructions. <sighs> that was such promising, too. I thought it was going to be amazing. Everyone would be like, wow, you were kind of bad at first, but I did not expect that wacky save at the end. You are truly the world's best platform. That is not a fair glitch. I'm sorry. I'm going to speed up some of this. Okay, kids, the moral of the story is don't attempt semi-complicated platforming while let's playing. That went less than ideally, but at least I didn't fall there like I sort of thought I was going to. 